Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am sorry, I have been MIA. I recently went through a miscarriage at 10 weeks and through my entire process of miscarrying, I looked on YouTube and found comfort in other people's videos. Um, so I decided to go ahead and make a video myself. I looked to see if everybody's signs and symptoms were similar to mine to know if I was actually miscarrying. And so at the end of this video, I am going to go ahead and post pictures of what I passed so that anybody else that's going through this can kind of compare like I felt that I needed to during this process. So if you are queasy, you don't like blood, then don't watch till the end. Uh, but this is going to be a TMI video. I'm going to explain everything that happened to me over the course of a month of my miscarriage. Um, and so if you are watching this, you are probably in a situation like I was where you are searching for answers and I'm so, so sorry that you are going through this. Um, it's been about a week since I officially miscarried. It was 10 weeks when I did miscarry. Um, I started having problems around six weeks. Um, I went in for back pain and my doctor said that it was kidney stones, which wasn't very far-fetched because before my pregnancy, I did drink a lot of energy drinks. And so we just chopped it up to that. And shortly after that, I did start bleeding. And it started out very light spotting. And then it turned into heavy bleeding. And I started passing some small clots. I uh, went to the hospital. And the first time I went, they said that it was a possible miscarriage. And they did an ultrasound. They said that they couldn't find the baby um, that the sack was there, but they couldn't find the baby. And so we thought at that point that I was miscarrying and I went to a hospital later on cause my bleeding didn't stop and they had checked my HCG levels. And at that point they were, they started to start fluctuating. So it went down and then would go back up. Um, that doctor actually checked my cervix and told me that my cervix was closed so that was a good sign. Um, they did check on the ultrasound. We did both vaginal and uh, my stomach. And at that point, there was still no heartbeat, which in that six-week range is usually when you can start to, you know, find one. And I was pretty certain on my dates because I ended up having an ultrasound at four weeks. So I knew that kind of where my dates were because my periods were pretty regular. So they ended up finding something. They said, you know, you're not miscarrying at this point, you know, go home. I went back to my regular doctor. And at that point, a couple days before that, I had had really heavy bleeding and I passed two or three huge blood clots. And so at that point, I was like, that's it. That was my miscarriage. You know, my pregnancy's over. So I went to... My doctor, fully expecting for him to tell me that I was 100% having a miscarriage or had a miscarriage, and he first takes me in and does an ultrasound, and he finds a fetal pole. And so my heart sank. There was still no heartbeat, and at that point, there was some form of hope. And so that was probably around uh, seven or eight weeks. So we found the fetal pole, but still no heartbeat, and at this point, I knew that there should be a heartbeat. So we just started testing my HCG levels. And at that point, they had went down. I was around 2,000 something. And they went down about 20 and then went back up about 20. So my HCG levels were fluctuating. And of course, I was, you know, using Google Doctor. And anything that I saw in HCG levels lowering, it was 100% a miscarriage. But mine would go down and then they would go back up. And so my doctor was just like, we're going to, you know, give this pregnancy a full shot. So at that point, I was like, okay. And so we kept testing my levels and then my levels plummeted. So I was starting at around high 2000s when we first started testing my levels. And right before I went into my doctor, I dropped to about 700. And then my doctor called me or we went back in, I went back into my doctor and he went over my results and says that you are, you know, indeed miscarrying. And so on Memorial Day is when I believe I passed the baby. But I did notice that on a lot of people's videos on YouTube, they said that 
there was a lot of bleeding and a lot of pain and cramping and that was not something I experienced. I actually, on the six weeks when I thought that I had originally miscarried, it ended up being a subhematoma and I had more blood and more clotting and everything else with that than I did with my actual miscarriage. Um, the day that I miscarried, for some reason, I was having the worst allergies. It was raining here in California and it just flared up my allergies and so I was sneezing all day long and I was at Michael's craft store and I was getting stuff for my son's birthday party and I sneezed and I looked at my fiance and I was like, this is it. And uh, I went into the bathroom and there was indeed what I believe was the baby. I did not pull it out to actually look at it like I had done with my actual blood clots from when I was around six weeks just because I was in a public restroom and so I didn't think that that was very sanitary. So it's now a week past. I did take a pregnancy test. Um, in the middle of the day, but I took a pregnancy test to see if I'm still pulling positives, and as of now, I'm not, um, and we're still going to keep testing my levels to make sure that they completely go down to zero, so at this point, I'm still processing it. I think from the whole month experience, it was a lot to take in and it was a lot of emotional roller coasters. I thought I had miscarried, then we found the baby and there was this little gleam of hope that everything would be okay and you know, sadly enough it wasn't. And so if any of you guys are going through this and this is why you're watching the video, I'm so so sorry and I hope that yours is different and that yours does not end in a miscarriage. Um I am going to go ahead and post videos at the end of this so that or pictures at the end of this so you guys can kind of see uh, what it looked like like I said when I was when I actually miscarried I was 10 weeks but I believe that the baby stopped growing around six weeks so it was not a full-on baby uh my you, I wasn't able to take it out and really you know look at it but it wasn't a fully developed baby at that point because at six weeks it had already stopped. Um, I never did hear the heartbeat, even though I wanted to hear it so bad. But I think everything happens for a reason, and we're gonna keep trying and kind of see where that one goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and post those pictures down below. And for any of you that are going through this, I'm so, so sorry, and I hope that it works out for you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.